Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So in the last episode, um, well, a lot of stuff happened in the last episode. But anyway, we're going to the restaurant to meet everyone for breakfast, as usual. Oh, hello, Gundam. Good morning. Hi, Gundam. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Byakuya and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom or to burn in the fires of Galhena? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy's the same as usual. Yep. So that's his way of saying that he's mourning over the loss of Teru Teru and uh, Byakuya, I guess. Once again, I won't talk to everybody, but if you're playing the game and you feel like it, the level up startled me, um, you can do that. Okay. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? Uh, isn't it obvious the stuff he said about a traitor in World Ender? I'm asking if you know anything about it. We don't have our memories, of course I don't know anything. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. Well, on? that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. However, if by chance a worst case scenario... Well, even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. Why not? What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Of course! In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. I noticed that Nagito wasn't in here. What'd you guys do? Huh? Tied up, you say? Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! Um, what makes you say that? What about that other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that part, were you? <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? It don't rope me into this. They'll find out we work together to... Well... <laughs> you guys are both idiots. Hey, what does that mean? Well, you know... Uh, there's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Taro Taro committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So, where is he? So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. How, how should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to batmouth him. Say. He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high you could sell tickets to see it. Wow. Mm, that's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right, there's no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. What they like and what they hate, what makes them happy, what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. Yeah. Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Oh. The dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. Um, how did Monami not stop you, now that I think about it? So you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy? No, you killed him! Uh, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Yeah, we'd be in a trial right now if you guys did kill him. Then, then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. hmm, it's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. 
So, isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. Yeah, it's weird. If so, it would seem it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I'd wish you treated it like more like an achievement. Ugh, it's not. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Tiny boy. Oh, you're talking about Booyah <laughs> Hika. Hey, who are you calling tiny boy? Ah, you're here. Hey, figures, you guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do if you don't like your buddy, you corner them? <laughs> Looks like you act, you sheep acting all righteous. Look at, look at you sheep acting all righteous. Wow, that was an awkward sentence. What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, did the sheep all bleat at me? It looks like there's one more who needs to get tied up. Try it if you dare. You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You, you're you just a pit squeak without the Kuzurio clan backing you up. Oh, snap. What did you say? Enough. Knock it off, you two. Hmm. Yeah, I'll make sure you regret that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Hazuichi, let us just stop this already. Jeez, all this fighting, I can't tell it's I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. The future? Huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Phew, on top of this island's mis mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. I know, it never stops the problems. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and left for our respective cottages. Is it free time now? So, what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Yes, it's free time. Awesome, and I have mono and I have mono coins to spend. Whoops, I did not want to look at the window. Seriously, a lot of windows in this room. It's probably designed to feel tropical and open. Right now, it seems like a bad time to appreciate that. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go to the um, vending machine and the uh, mono mono uh, Y machine, whatever, the chance machine and uh, get presents. Okay, I'm back from getting presents and I spent all my mono coins doing that. Because um, I got the key items that were in the vending machine, um, as well as ones from the mono mono yashin. And I wanna talk to Ibuki because I got a present that I think she'll like. Yeah, I can't wait. The way I tied my hair today is so not cool. My charm is my best feature, and now it's gonna disappear. What should I do? Should I hang out with the Buki? Sure, why not? Hey, hey. You think it looks the same as usual, right? <laughs> then I shall indoctrinate you to the secrets of this hairstyle. Okay. For the sake of indoctrination, I was forced to watch a Buki style her hair. <laughs> It feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Ibuki a present? Yes. What would you like to give her? Um, I want to give her the tuning fork I picked up. Uh, where is it? Was it really this far down the list? Because I feel like it was. Oh, I guess it was. Yeah, this is what I want to uh, give to her. So, yeah. Yahoo! Are you really giving that to me? It's a enormous tuning fork that apparently its resonance can not destroy um, its surroundings. So, it seemed like something she'd want. Yay! That's awesome! Ibuki will be totally pleased with this for the rest of her life! Ah, uh, yes, yes! What? Jeez, hurry! Hurry up and choose me! Um, what? Hey, hey. Um, um, were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. Yeah, that's a major bingo. What is? Well, isn't it obvious? You should be a part of a Buki's music club from now on. I know this is not a Buki's voice, but whatever. For a while, everyone thought music clubs are outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. But now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon, too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. 
That's not something the ultimate musician should say. That's what I was about to say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be so popular with the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissistic, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Ah, Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. I've never played any type of instrument before, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess we'll go for... I guess we'll go for the, uh... I know it's, he says it doesn't matter, but I feel like it matters. Um, let's go for... The base, I guess. I'll use the base then. Aww. Ugh, that was wrong. Nope, denied. Why? I thought it was fine as long as I didn't take the guitar. Mm, he might stand up too much and steal a bookie spotlight. She's supposed to be the main event, you know? What a selfish reason. I've never played any type of instrument before, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, drums? Okay, I guess drums. That's awesome! Alright, it's decided. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat and you don't even know how to read music. Oh, I guess I should have thought of that being a musician myself, but again, this is some weird logic. As long as you move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. That's not true. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. <laughs> Now that we've decided on an instrument, let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. A loudspeaker? Hold on a second, why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. It doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. What in the world is a loudspeaker? I guess this is a rock and roll thing, and I'm a classical musician, so I wouldn't know what that is. <laughs> Put your soul into it. Shout, shout. I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I re didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I re don't understand her even more. Cool. I got a hope fragment. Ibuki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Awesome. I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. Okay, we get one more round of free time, correct? Yes. Still right out, it's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Hmm, maybe I should try going somewhere. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of presents, but I don't really know who would like them, so... Um, well, I guess first and foremost, I should figure out who I can even interact with right now. So let's see. Hmm. Um. Okay, there we go. This is the map I was looking for. Okay, so... So, Chiaki and Nagito are here. Okay, on the second island, Ibuki... Okay, so Gundam and um, Kazuichi are here. Hmm. This is where Makan and Sonya are. Okay. Hmm. Who haven't I talked to? I haven't talked to Hiyoko. Hmm. Do I have anything that Hiyoko would like, though? That's the issue. Um. I was actually thinking. This item. A refreshing drink that contains no alcohol. It tastes more like sour grape juice than actual wine. Maybe this would be an item that Hiyoko would like, since she seems to be a kid with an adult mind, I guess. I don't know. I want to try it and see what happens. Plus, I kind of want to interact with everybody at least once. So, um, yeah, I'll meet you once I uh, get to uh, Hioka. Okay, I found Hioka. She's in the beach house. So, let's go ahead and talk to her. Huh? That's weird. Did I hear something just now? That's so weird. Nobody's here at all. What should I do? Should I hang out with, Bioka with Hioka when she's acting like this? Sure. 
Wow, I didn't see you there, Hajime. You were so boring. I didn't notice you at all. <laughs> if you really insist, that you can hold my bags while I pick up snacks from the supermarket. Okay. I went with Yoko while she shopped and I was forced to carry a huge load of snacks back to her cottage. Looks like Hiyoko and I grew a little closer, or did we? Would you like to give Hiyoko a present? Sure. What would you like to give her? Um... Hmm... Well, let me look and see what else I have before I try and give that to her. Um... Hmm... Let's see... I think, really, that's the only thing I have that, uh, she would like, really. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with my, uh, first instinct and, uh, give her... Yeah, I'm just going to give that to her. So let's go all the way back up, because I think going all the way be all the way down doesn't make it loop. And if it does, well, it was unnecessary for me to do that. Let's try giving this to her. I have no idea if it's an item that she'll even accept. Right. Yeah. Okay. That was a bad one. Hey, I get that you're a brain-dead moron and a waste of oxygen. But you're still my slave, so you need to bring me gifts that are a little more thoughtful than this. Hey, hey. hey, Hajime. I've been thinking this ever since I first met you, but will you get mad if I say it? I'm not going to get mad every time you say something to me. I see. Then I'm going to say it. Oh. Um, um, I've been thinking this ever since I first met you. Yeah. You have a shady looking face, and you look like the kind of person who's too lazy to try hard. Not only that, I think you're so hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Uh, hold on, if you think I have a shady looking face, well, I guess I can let that slide. But you better take back that last part. When did I ever come after you? Uh, huh? Uh, you said you wouldn't get mad. Oh god. Uh, there's no way I can leave her alone when she's acting like this. Sorry, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Please don't cry anymore. <laughs> And if you're really sorry, can you buy me the thing I like? Huh? What the heck? Fine, what do I have to buy you? Um, it's shaped like a star, and it's small, and it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about... Candy. So you just want candy, right? I wonder if I saw any star-shaped ones. Wait, wrong? What? It's not something that boring. It's smaller and cuter than normal candy. Jeez, what the heck? You're probably talking about... Whatever this is? Okay. Confiet... Confito? Kyoko nodded silently. Phew, at least she stopped crying. Then do you want me to go buy it right now? Jeez. Just so you know, you won't find it in the supermarket. Huh? Really? Jeez, Hajime, you're such a pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it was impossible, and you even got tricked by my fake crying. No, you definitely weren't faking those tears. Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you and make you bring me something else. Let's see. Go steal Sonia's panties for me. What? Are you trying to make me a criminal? Hmm, nag, nag, nag. Bring me Gundam's earring, then. <laughs> and you better steal it. I don't want you to borrow it. You don't really want it, do you? You're just trying to make me suffer. Let me just bring you a different snack. I'll get you something you like. Aw, uh, but they don't have anything cute there. I gotta have something cute, like flower candies made with refined Japanese sugar. Jeez, you're picky. You spoiled little brat. <laughs> There's no way you can get those kind of traditional candies here. Ah, uh, but just as I thought, you really do like traditional Japanese candy, huh? Well, it's so elaborately made that it's practically art. They're so small and sparkly and cute. I love them so much. <laughs> Foreign sweets are made with too much sugar and they're perfect for uncultured idiots. Are you talking to Americans? Because that's kind of hurtful. If she hadn't said that last part, I would have been impressed. Well, this is Hyoko after all. I guess I just have to accept it. But I do feel like I understand Hyoko a little more now. 
Cool. I got a hope fragment from her. And that should be the last um, free time period. Yoga asked me to do impossible things for her all day. By the time I returned to my cottage, I was wiped out. Okay, yep, that's the last of the free time. Hmm. Still have four more Monokuma things to find for this uh, chapter. Ahem. Yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I thought this was a nighttime announcement. Apparently not. Okay. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. Wow. Come on. Okay, well I know <laughs> well I know Akane is there. <laughs> curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that, everybody? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park, again, huh? Okay, um, so... Okay, yeah, let's go to Jabberwock Park and see what Monokuma wants. Oh, hello, Mikan. Uh, I'm sorry I'm such a slowpunk. I'll head over to the park right away. But I'm not being so on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. Uh, I tripped again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. Jeez, we're so mean. She's trying her best, Hajime. Oh, my pet has a thing. Oh, it cocooned. Whoa, and its despair meter is way up high. Wow. So apparently, what? Oh. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, here we are. I knew Akane would be here first. Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? Oh, it's a scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry. You guys are so stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Where's Monokuma? Get out here. Okie dokie. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. It is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what bu what is let, let us hear what your business is. Jeez, I can't read half the time. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? What could you possibly be busy doing? If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this chart, you should be able to notice. Huh? Talking about this thing? What is this? Ah, uh, isn't that an arcade machine? Correct. <laughs> That's correct! So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Twilight Syndrome, I see it says. Don't don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. Uh, hey, what's the game? What games are on this? 
She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. I prepared only one game, but it's truly a gem. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. No, no. Don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Is that a is that supposed to be a jab at um Dong and Rampa? People have been waiting for Dong and Rampa 2 to come out, so you made a jab about it. Famous game? Now then, I shall present it. Ta! <laughs> Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Is that supposed to be a Phoenix Wright parody? Because it looks like Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Riddle Solving Perfectors. Professor Layton. Collecting Cute Monsters. Pokemon. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. First I've heard of it. It's about a group of high school, high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a sky, side scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what generation a game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Uh, don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. You know, like budgetary reasons. Man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title. Because that's how half the people feel from kickstarted uh, sequels to games. And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is going to be your next motive. Oh. The motive you need to kill people! After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Ah, okay. This game is the motive? The truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't. I say no. It's a trap. Hey, if that's the motive, wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? Oh, that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. But are you sure you want to do that? Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? What do you mean? For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. What do you mean? You guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye bye. What the heck? Hey, what should we do? Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would be the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it, but it's true. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakuya or Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But Fuyuhiko makes a good point. 
You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Eh, it's not like that! I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That... that might be true, but... Hmm... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Ellen. I will never, I'll ever never let another killing happen. Sure, you say that, but then there would be no game. And, well, the first game was like, what, six chapters long? I assume this one will be just as long. Ahem. Yeah, it's the night time, Maria. Okay, good night, Manukuma. Bye. It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing to do. For me to do. But, but regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. But... Me too. It's definitely impossible. For then now. we should just turn in for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still... That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Ah, I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. Oh well. And that's that. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? Hmm. There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Monokuma Theater. Okay, after this, I'm gonna stop the video. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back big all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. Man, being successful is tough. <laughs> okay, then. And it's morning now. It's a brand new day. Good yep, good morning. Now, okay, good morning. I should go to the restaurant for now. Okay, but I'm going to end this episode here. Um, so yeah, we have a new motive in place, a video game for us to play. Um, if we're going to play it, I have no idea. I wanted to guess that we're not. But anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon. All three links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.